Well, guys, I'm out here in the garden, and the wind is picking up, a, up again here onto the east coast. We had a lot of wind yesterday. Actually, this first breeze that's coming through right now is about the hardest for today. So I had to feed up the animals and uh, took a look at the garden, see what was going on with it, because yesterday I discovered some potato bugs onto my potatoes. So I want to go check those out because I had to put some Damascus, um, let's see, what was Damascus earth on them because the potato bugs had gotten on them. I did see one potato bug one time and some eggs and, and got them, but obviously I missed some other eggs. So yesterday I just, me and my daughter actually, and my granddaughter, we was out there and she said, why don't you put some Damascus earth on it, which I did have, which I didn't really want to put anything on my plants, but it's organic, the one I have. I do believe that's what she said and so um, so that's what we did went out there and took a look I seen two potato bugs but they were on their way out so I want you to come along and take a look at my garden because it's been a struggle this year getting this garden fighting storms frosts but nevertheless I have been able to get some zucchini uh, some squash so far I dug up some potatoes and small potatoes and that was just so good so come along and take a look at the garden so here is a piece of row of the okra, a piece a row of okra here this is a half a row or a little less than a half a row but it's, it's coming along I did not plant it in the same spot as last year rotated everything out and uh, so I've never planted on this end, but it seems to be doing very well. Over here is some celebrity tomatoes. I do, yeah, they're celebrity tomatoes that I grew up from seed. Now they've got to be tied up with something put to them. Originally I was gonna put cattle panel, uh, you know, run them up on cattle panel, but then I changed my mind and I'm trying something else. Now yesterday the wind was blowing bad and um, so I didn't get out here and figured I'd wait till the wind kind of calms down. Um, here I use these T-posts here and I use some cotton string because that's what I had and I have some stronger string. And uh, I just ran it and, and was going to run the tomato plants, weave them in and out. But as I look, I think that I'm going to, you know, go on the other side of this pole and run it also. Or I might take some wire and run it through. So I definitely got to get, they're growing. Um, so I definitely got to get them, you know, make sure they're secure. I'm not too happy with the leaves so far. Um, they're kind of looking strange. But we've had some strange weather. So, and they got a lot of blooms and some tomatoes coming on them. These are, uh, I believe they're beef. Let's see, what are they? They are big beef hybrid tomatoes got these at walmart i believe i got them at walmart or lowe's but um decided to get these because our weather was so strange i was waiting for my other tomato plants to grow up in case i lost all this in the frost but so far they're coming along the reason i haven't really got these at that time i was doing these right here is because i was short about three t pros and i thought i would just wait and get those and i haven't got them yet but these are working out pretty good just using the t-post it was a lot easier i guess you say i'm putting cattle panel but it's just something new i want to try i had the string already so I just want to use it up got lots of blooms on here did see one bumblebee this morning a small one i haven't seen any pollinators did see one butterfly here into the garden which is very unusual it's usually it's just like loaded in here Hey, hero. What are you doing? You ready for breakfast? No. You are? Okay. So, uh, here is this uh, gold prize straight neck squash. And they're just started blooming out this week. Actually, about two days ago. And so, never had squash on this side. So, they're really doing good. Going on down. And over here is a little bit of um okra they're still doing good and these are some celebrity tomatoes that i grew from seed just planted them last week 
So they're starting to look like they need uh, on this little section right here, which I've always seem to have a problem. I need to do a pH test on this area right here because it just don't seem like it's, it's seems like it's lacking something. So uh, just planted those. Those are doing better. So those are pretty much were planted at the same time as these over here. So I've definitely got to take a look at that. But um, another tomato plant down there. These are my potatoes, and they're there. I pull. You know, dug and, and pulled some little bit of potatoes out. And um, I'm, I'm really happy with these. They're starting to bloom out. So pretty. You know, they're just, I just love, if they don't really do that much, which they do have some little potatoes on them, they're just so beautiful. They're so healthy. I'm really happy about them, but tomatoes are looking good. Just want to go on the other side of this pole here and like I said, I was going to weave it in, the tomato weave it in and out. I think I'll just give it extra support, come on the other side. Over here is uh, Maconi's bell peppers. That one right there, I didn't realize I knocked it down with the water hose yesterday, so I just kind of just straightened it up a while ago. And they have some blooms on them. Some of these I grew up from seeds. Uh, that's one of my grew up from seeds. That's a, it could be a bell pepper. I've got mixed up into my plants. Next year I would definitely write everything down. I did put a stick and put tape and the sun um, faded it out. And you think you're going to remember and you just don't remember. So definitely got to do something differently. There's another pepper plant there. And some of these might be um banana peppers so i'm gonna watch on top i did take and ones i definitely knew they were bell peppers i went ahead and pinched there's a little bloom in there a little we're starting to, i'm gonna get that out and then i'm gonna take take that out so that my experience will take and um, produce more and grow bigger so the pex pipe is still up Pex plumbing pipe. It's got rebar, one flow rebar on each end. And the reason of that is because of this, uh, we've had such cold weather and stuff and frost. I didn't want to take it up. And there's still pavers into the garden. I haven't got up yet. Just want to make sure that we wasn't going to get another frost and we have to come out here and log all that stuff again. So that one's a little crooked, but I was experimenting. See about how far I can stretch it. And, and these are the garden peas I put up cattle panel cattle panels. Um, these garden peas were planted three times trying to get some garden peas. Now, they are putting out garden peas but my concern was is it going to get too hot? You know will they produce? Will they do anything? Is it going to get too hot too quickly? And uh, so they're loaded with um, some garden peas and so I decided well you know what I'll just and the loaded with blooms, I just gonna go in between. I think I'm just gonna go because I got space. Oh, that's the sweet potato there. I just stuck it in there. I'm just because they're so small, and some of them didn't even, you know, the pH is right, but they just still didn't, they're just not doing that well as I wanted them to do. So they are little and they're loaded with garden peas. I just go ahead and get them going. There's a tomato plant I stuck in there. I think that voluntary came up in the garden. But yeah, they're, they did, put, you know, load up. They're loaded up. That one feels pretty good. But, um, they're loaded up. If I, if they, if they, we didn't have that, all that rain, then, um, yeah, I just had a lot of garden peas. I was just, you know, I'm happy with whatever I get, you know just has to persevere but this will give a good mess stuck some more tomato plants down in there that sweet potato plant this morning I looked at it and doesn't look that good so we'll see how it does another tomato plant down there now this row is string beans bush and um 
they, you know, I've had to plant them three times. Had a problem with them also this year. Never have a problem with my gardens. But this year has been a year of determination. Stuck a straight neck squash in there. In between, I had some I grew up with seed. And I said, well, you know, I tried planting these uh, beans. It might have been the fourth time. So, I said, well, you know, it's getting kind of late. It's starting to get late in the season. I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and throw the squash in there. That's a sweet potato slip right there. And another straight neck, gold prize straight neck squash green beans and of course it goes right on down so this is another potato slip sweet potato slip there's another bell pepper I'm gonna take that little bell pepper and just go ahead and you know, discard it so it'll continue growing and just produce more bell pepper sacrifice one for more so the string beans are got some blooms on them. There's a little string bean right there. So yeah, a little string bean. So they'll maybe they'll come off that time, but the potatoes will. That would be great. Another pepper plant. And string bean. Another pepper plant. Another pepper plant. Down there. A different variety of string beans. It's got blooms on. There's a little string bean right there. That's the first time I've seen that, so that's exciting. Now this Pax pipe did help with the frost. It was experiment. And uh, it did help. Gosh, I would have lost this whole entire garden. Everything in it with the last frost that we had. And it was a challenge to get out here. The cattle pounds wasn't up. Potatoes were high. Garden peas were up. I didn't worry about them. But um, I just lost everything. And I got out here and covered it with plastic and pavers and buckets and uh, even used some coolers. Anything I can get my hands on around here. I bought a lot of buckets from Walmart. There's another sweet potato slip. And... Uh, just got out here and just try to get get some level height. There's another sweet potato slip. And then we go right on down to the end of this row of the string beans. Here is some cucumbers. It won't be long. I'll be putting something up with them to run. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six plants. Now usually I'll leave two in there. I always do that so that uh, I'll see which one is the strongest plant. You know, sometimes you get one that doesn't make it. Whoop, I see ants. And let's break that one off. That's good, I need to take it off in here. So, I see some ants. This year I've already noticed there's gonna be a problem with ants. So, let me get these up running soon. Get grass out of there. I try to keep my grass out. I just, I don't have that really, to, I don't have that much grass, but, you know, while I'm going, I always try to look and pull. It's so easy to get up. These are gold prize straight neck squash, and yes, they are close. So what I've already been doing on some of my squashes is that I haven't done, yeah, I did do that one. I just go and cut some of the, the leaves off so it gives the other one enough when they're tender that it's easy to break off. So it gives space. And it's not going to hurt anything. Just put all that growth to the plant. Give space to the other plant. And that's what I decided to do this year. And then that all these leaves go back to the ground. And uh, I still get my squash. Now this one sure really shouldn't be there and just gave space. But, you know, we'll see how it does. So yeah, usually last these are getting a little bit bigger. So usually last time I just took a pair of scissors and just come. It takes no time. So that's what I'm fixing to do. I just gave them a little bit more growth. Come in here and just take the scissors. There's a little squash right there. And these are straight gold price straight neck squash. Now this is the zucchini.
did cut one of the leaves there because they did all the, these plants to put out some leaves. There is a gold prize squash. Another zucchini. I never interweave my squash plants like this. It's really pretty. This looks beautiful. But this is a year of new things. So here is Look, gold prize squash. Look how beautiful that is. Just beautiful. Now, usually, usually this time of year, my um, squash are just plants are just huge. But the weather has played a part. There's a zucchini. There's a zucchini plant. There's a zucchini down there. And actually, that it was so good. I just wish I had planted more. This is a small wandering squash. There's two plants in there, and I have plan on. I wanted to put them on a trellis because we was possibly expecting frost again. I just ran them, kind of laid the, the runners on top of one another, and uh, so it kind of got big now. Back in there is a small wandering squash. I believe that's what it is. So I've never planted these before, but they're doing really good. They're loaded down with blooms and squashes. They're supposed to be able to keep pretty well. As far as storage. There's a... Okay. There's some right there. Just loaded down. And that's a different variety of squash, I believe it is. Might be pavilion. Or prima vera the gay squash. I'm not really sure yet. So here is another squash plant. This is delicata squash. And they store very well. And then you guys right on down to the gold prize straight net squash. Um the one of the problems I've seen is that, uh, well, not counting the weather, but pollinators. So some of them are, didn't get pollinated. And I just tossed them out. But see how they're just loaded with small ones. The plant's really small. It's because of the age of the plant and this weather. This is, I believe, is a small wandering squash loaded down with a little squash in there. Lots of little squash so far. So, and here it is running off. This is a row of okra. They're doing really super good. And then once again down here at the sweet potatoes. Here is the potatoes that are starting to die out some. Um, I'm hoping they, they bloomed and I'm hoping it's just, you know, because it's getting to near that time, they got that, I believe it's that um, stuff on it, domiscus, whatever I just said earlier. Um, it's organic because of the potato bugs. But look, I come out here, I can come back 15 minutes later, and there will be one, I'll find one. There's another one right there. So I was out here smashing them. Oops, I lost it. Gotta get him. So I believe. This stuff right here is helping out. Oh, I don't like them. So, that's it's not on my other potatoes. So, I'm coming out here and i just watching it. And, uh, and pretty much it was just on this end down here. Me and my, my granddaughter pulled a little bit of potatoes up right there yesterday. It was just on that end, so I'm just trying to catch them before they get too far. And I did look, you always got to look up on the leaves. And I would look up under the leaves and wouldn't see anything. But this stuff is, it is organic, so you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Oh, there's one right there. Not happy about that. I haven't had any bug problems, so I've been very thankful of that. I've been watching for these potato bugs. 
but I do think it's because the one got on it. She laid some eggs. I got the eggs, but she always lays some other eggs and put them in another one. It don't take very long when to multiply. So haven't seen any so far on this end. They've just been on this end down here. So I'll keep randomly coming out here and checking. These are my carrots and some onions growing. Yesterday we my my grandmother my grandmother, my granddaughter and my daughter and I we took and pulled some carrots. Usually I'm, I'm out here, I water, and then that's the easiest way. If you have a hard time getting your carrots up after they're growing, then just take and wet the ground, get it wet real good, and they'll just slide right on out. So these are, we pulled a, uh, a lot up. I ate them for dinner and some potatoes, and uh, I did a video how to grow carrots. So this right here I noticed this morning, I think it's because when I wet it, there's, there's uh phosphate but that's fine because they are really thick in here and they they've been sewn to where you can randomly pick them up this end was smaller last week and it's just they're just taken off so i've been pulling a few small ones up and eating them and usually eating them while i'm watering them and then i took some yesterday and just randomly picked pulled them up and when you water them they'll fall down so usually with the wind and everything, they'll just pick right back up. So yeah, check out that video, how to grow carrots, and they're so good. So I placed some marigolds out there. There's some on the other side over there, but these are more potatoes. That right there was supposed to be a strawberry, didn't make it. These are just starting to bloom out. So here I've got some small strawberries that are taken off and some marigolds and some moss ross in there. They love the heat, they love the sun, and they're so beautiful when they bloom out with different colors. Here is the, the garlic bed. And it is loaded down. There are some bunch of onions. I'm trying to get see if I can get some seed off of those. They're so easy to grow. And I haven't dug down in here to see what's going on yet. I've just been kind of watching the plants. But they're doing really good. It smells so good. Over here I dug a my apple tree up and put it in another spot. And, and I must not cover this whole up because I was hoping some little sprigs of apple sprigs would come up. And it did. So, and that's great. Um, that's two there. I didn't realize there was two there. But I'm just hoping I can kind of salvage these right here. Um, that one that kind of looks like it's bunched together. And uh, so what I'm going to do, this is so late into the season, I'm just going to try to keep them here and then the fall, just dig them up and put them into my orchard. Orchard. Uh, my fruit tree orchard and put them over there. These are the moss ross and they, they're starting to just get to that place. They're going to bloom out soon. And I love these flowers. They are so beautiful. I have some on this side. Grew these up in seeds. Usually I try to find these type of plants every year and they sell out so quickly. Um, but this year I seen some seeds and I was like, oh my goodness, I can grow those. So yeah. So I've got lots of plants. I really need to transplant some of those and put them in different areas. Hopefully I'll get to that. Here's the zinnias and the moss ross in another section. I just separate some of that moss ross and they're up there in the container on the deck. I'll put some over here. Also, my marigolds, the zinnia, I mean the moss ross is taken off. And this is my basil. Got to put a hole in the container, and of course it kind of overwet it, but let's see how they do. Over here is a planter here, and uh, I got strawberries all in it. Eventually, I'll probably put these into, you know, a bed somewhere. They are starting to run. And uh, that one right there, I just stuck in like 
a couple days ago and it's already taken off. It's got another runner, so when it'll reach over there, I'll stick it in there. And this one I, I stuck in there. This one I just stuck in there this morning. So they're starting, some of them are starting to run. There's a runner right there. So that's why I want to definitely put them somewhere else. There's, there's several varieties of strawberries in here. I never had any with the, like, the pink flowers, but they are good. So here are some other items that I was hoping to get in the greenhouse, but they haven't got there yet because the greenhouse is not completed. So anyways, they're still holding on. Some parsley, some rosemary. Rosemary does pretty good. Um, that's the purple, purple cone flower. I've never grown those before, so just actually put them in there. Um, this is lettuce I've been kind of picking off. Well, yeah, it's still holding on. I actually plan on putting it into my planter over here, but I end up putting all strawberries in there. So, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me on to my garden tour. Just hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on to the next video. God bless you, and remember to make it a day.